Hi. Today we will see angular signals. We will go through one simple example. In this example, we will try to print post title and we will fetch this post from the JSON placeholder API. But we will have one if condition here that while we are loading the post, we want to show user some kind of message like, hey, I'm loading the post from the API. And once they are done, we will show the list of the post here. As you can see, I'm using this Boolean variable. So in my post component, I have a loading flag set to false initially. On engine in it, I'm calling the fetch post. And in fetch post, I'm calling my post service, which gets the data and bind to my array. However, even though you can see I'm setting loading to true, and once it is subscribed and executed, setting to false, I'm not able to see the output in my browser. If I go to the network tab and if I refresh it, the API is being called. There is a result from the API, but we do not have the output. And this is a very standard problem statement when you work with Angular. And this is because of the change detection mechanism. In this component, I have set change detection to on push. That means Angular will depend on developer to trigger the change detection for this component. And for that, I have injected this service called change detector ref. And now if I want to fix this, what I have to do is I will just say mark for check or detect changes. And if I just make it a little bit smaller here, and if I save the change, you should be able to see the output. So if I refresh, there is a message and then it shows the post. This is how normal Angular application works with the on push. What we can do is we can go to the signal approach now. So in signal approach, I will say loading is not only just a Boolean variable, but it is a signal of type boolean with the default value false and i can import it from the angular core now since it is not a variable i need to call a function called set on it and set the value true before i call the api and when i get the data i can set it to false now in the html we need to call the getter function of the signal since it is not a variable but a function now i have to specify the parenthesis and as you can see i'm getting the output again and the interesting thing now i can get rid of the chain detection now here i don't want to trigger my chain detection manually and i will rely on angular's reactivity now as you can see if i refresh I'm able to fetch my data even though my component is set on the on push mechanism. This is how Angular Signal is changing the way you create the application. We can do one more thing next. Since we have the post as a simple array here, we can convert this into a signal array. So what I can do is I will just create a signal of post here. So I will say post is now signal of post array and next instead of directly setting value here i will call dot set post again i need to change my html now this is not simple array but a signal function i should call it like this and i will have the output again so as you can see what i did initially it was just this array of post i marked it as a signal array and I'm setting the value here. And in my HTML, I'm calling it as a getter function to iterate. And this is how our simple Angular application changes from, let me remove this one. Yeah, so it changes from having this kind of manual chain detection to rely on the Angular reactivity. Thank you.